Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my evening routine with a, well, two toddlers. I was going to say a baby and a toddler, but no, I have two toddlers. I've got a one-year-old and a three-year-old and me and my husband tend to work opposite evenings to each other. So one of us is always doing bedtime on our own. So come along and see what my routine is like when it's just me and the boys at bedtime. We've just had to pop out to the shops this afternoon to get a couple of bits and run some errands. So it's now 4.30 and we're just getting home. So I'm just getting both the boys in from the car as you guys can see. And then I'm going to pop the telly on for them just so I can get some dinner made. So I try not to give them too much screen time, although at the moment it's pretty hard not to. Um, but we are out most of the time doing various things. So I do tend to put the telly on just at the end of the day, if I can help it, just so I can make some dinner. So they've just got that on, they're quite happy. And it's Friday, so we're having um, fish and chips for dinner. Well, fish fingers and chips for the boys. So I'm just gonna pop that in the air fryer now because it's just a lot easier than having to time it in the oven. Just got some veg on for them as well and yeah we're just going to leave that to cook for 15 minutes while I sit and chill with them. Just come back into the lounge to find them both like this and my heart just melted. It's been really hard having two under two but it makes it so worth it seeing moments like that. So here's their dinner ready. I'm going to pop it on the table for them and um, they're going to have their dinner. I don't tend to eat with the boys. I tend to eat a bit later when they're in bed just because I find it a bit hectic and also when I'm on a diet plan I tend not to eat the same thing as them but I'll still sit with them at dinner time and we'll talk about our day and yeah just kind of all sit together. So here's a bit of reality for you, Joel can be quite difficult at meal times. he always ends up wanting to sit on my lap, he wants me to feed him and if it's not him it's Reuben um, so yeah here he is on my lap and then Reuben decided that he wanted to come and sit on my lap as well so I actually ended up with both of the kids on my lap um, but yeah that's just a bit of reality of what our day is like most days. And now we're done with dinner, it's just after 5pm so I've just popped into the kitchen to get their bedtime milk ready while they just have a play in the lounge. So Reuben has his milk warmed up a little bit but Joel just likes his cold. Um, Reuben does still have a bottle even though he's two at the end of May but that works for us so I'm just going to keep it that way for the moment. And then I've just popped upstairs to get all of their rooms all nice and cosy ready for when they come out the bath. So now it's 5.30, the boys always just have a little play in Joel's room while their bath's running. And then I'll just come in here and tidy up, get all their things out for bedtime. Yes, Joel does still have a dummy. He actually gave it up for about three months, but it's really hard when his younger brother still has one. And then we gave it back to him when he was poorly and it's just kind of stuck. So I try and limit it for the end of the day when he's tired and for bedtime. Um, so yeah, just popped all their things in the bathroom ready for when they come out of the bath. They are absolutely obsessed with this bubble crab, guys. I got this from Team U. It was about five or six pounds. It was one of Reuben's Christmas presents and it plays music and spits all the bubbles out and they just love it. They ask for it every single bath time. So if you're looking for new bath toys, I'd highly recommend this. And now I'm just getting them ready for bed in the bathroom. So on the rare nights, usually about two nights a week when me and Steve are actually home at the same time and sharing bedtime, we will get the boys ready for bed in their own rooms. But when it's just one of us, we have to do it in the bathroom so we can watch the other one that's still in the bath. So I always get Reuben out first because he gets quite tired um, and just get him ready in here so I can still keep an eye on Joel in the bath. 
and then I'll just let Reeves run around and do what he wants while I just get Joel out the bath and get him dressed as well. This is how I've always done it ever since Reuben was a newborn. I was always like, oh my gosh, how am I going to manage bedtime with two young kids on my own? But honestly, if you're in the thick of it right now and you're new to being a mum of two, I promise it gets easier and you do just find your own routine. It's time to brush their teeth. As you can see, Reuben is very tired. He does not want his teeth brushed. I usually have to sort of like pin him down to do this. I am being gentle, I promise. But he's, yeah, he's not in the mood for having his teeth brushed. Um, but yeah, we're just getting it done and he'll be fine once I give him his bottle. Joel's at the stage where he likes to try and brush his own teeth now. Obviously, I do let him do it to start with, but then I have to just finish it off for him to make sure he's done them properly. So Joel's just gone into his room to chill in bed with his tablet, um, or he'll watch CBeebies in my bed, but tonight he wanted to get in his bed and watch his tablet. So it just gives me some time with Reuben. This is my favorite time of the day, just one-on-one -on -one time with each of the boys. It's not hectic, well, tell a lie some bedtimes can be very hectic but you know what I mean the stress of the day is gone I get a little bit of time with both of them and we have lots of cuddles so Reese just had his milk and we usually read two stories per per child every bedtime so he's just having his stories now and then Reuben likes to be cuddled for quite a while after his milk and his stories so um, I'm just doing that I kind of limit it to about 15 minutes otherwise it's not fair on Joel but yeah just having lots of cuddles before I put him in his cot he's a real mummy's boy so he really enjoys this time with me it's just gone 6 30 and that's Reuben down in bed he's got his white noise on his dream egg because he still likes that to fall asleep to and that's him down for the night he does sometimes cry for a couple of minutes but then he'll just self-settle and I don't usually need to go back in um but yeah just popped into Joel's room I'm gonna make him turn his tablet off now and I'm gonna get in bed with him and we're gonna do his stories Sure, when the boys get a little bit older we'll probably just all get in bed together and do this but at the moment Reuben goes down about half an hour earlier than Joel so he's usually half six and then Joel goes down for about seven so at the moment it has to be separate um, but I really like it because like I said I get my one-on-one -on -one time with each of them me and Joel like to talk about his day a little bit after we've had stories I'll ask him what his favorite thing was that he's done today um, it's normally like the most simple thing that we've done so it just shows that they don't need loads of like money spent on them to enjoy the simple things yeah we're just having some cuddles gonna have a little chat um, just have a catch up because it's hectic having to and obviously you don't get that time with them during the day to really have that quality time that you used to when you just have one child so we'll do that for a bit and then he's going to choose a story for his Yoto player And he usually likes me to lay with him and stroke his back and his neck till he falls asleep. That's his little routine. And then I'm just gonna leave him with his Yoto player in bed. So now it's housework time. <laughs> I never like to sit down before I've done a couple of jobs around the house because otherwise I just won't do it. Um, so obviously I'm gonna put some washing on. If I don't do at least one wash every day, it's the washing basket is just overflowing. So I'm just gonna pop the washing on. And then obviously every evening I have to do the kitchen before I sit down and have some dinner. So yeah, just gonna give the kitchen a quick clean. And then I'm gonna pop into the lounge and pick up all of the, the toys from the day. It's not too bad today because we've been out, but some days if we've just had a lazy afternoon at home, this I can't even walk in the lounge because there's just toys everywhere so I promise it's not always this tidy it is an absolute dump some days just popping their little tunnel away they love this tunnel I think this was from like cottage craft kids or something like that but we've had it for quite a while just gonna pop that away pop all the coloring books back in their craft cupboard I say all the coloring books there's literally one that they've had out today but yeah anything from the craft cupboard pop that back in there 
By the way guys, if you haven't already seen this hack, which I'm sure you have by now, these IKEA wooden dish racks are amazing for holding books, puzzles, colouring books, everything like that. So I use it in the craft cupboard to hold all of their colouring books and their sticker books. And now that I've had a little tidy up and I'm feeling a bit more satisfied with the house and I feel like I can breathe, I'm going to pour myself a glass of Prosecco while my dinner's cooking because it's Friday night and I'm not working tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just going to have this pop something on that I actually want to watch rather than kids programs and that's me for the evening so thank you so much for watching guys please like and subscribe and I will catch you all in my next video